This is early voting season in New York City, and the best thing to do is to actually see who you're voting for before you go to the ballot. And also, on Tuesday is the last day to vote. Why we have so much early voting? Well, there's a good reason, <laughs> but uh, that's a different video. Put comments below saying, why is there so much voting now? Early voting NYC. Search on that, and what you see is a sponsored link. You know what that means? That means that your taxpayer dollars are going to advertise in Google for voting. They got to make you think, right? Why is our tax dollars being, and who's deciding where our tax dollars are being used for voting, for advertisements? This is um, pretty strange in why we need... Uh, the government spending tax dollars on advertisements in order to get people to vote. Now, let's pick this early voting one. This is not even a government site. NYCVotes.org. If it is a government site, it's well hidden, but some of these government sites are .org sites, which is strange. But uh, let's keep this clear, New York City. .gov, .nyc. You can't just mix .org and .gov and, and already New York City is a mess. So please, please, please try to organize. Now you go to this site and you want to find your poll, polling site, right? Because remember your early voting poll site is not the same as your Tuesday election day poll site. There are many more poll sites on election day Tuesday um, than there are on. And what tradition for Tuesday being the voting day? That must go back in history. So let's find our poll site. And we're going to put a random value in here of 1 Madison Street. You put in your own address. And let's just put in a random zip code. And look at the way this site works. Find my site it realized that the zip code is not correct. So it corrected it. And now let's go here. It's giving you your poll early voting. See, early voting site is here, but your normal election day site is a different place. Hank John Hancock, it's completely different, different hours, different everything. But we're going to vote today on June 25th. So let's uh, look at the, and the sample ballot, I believe, is always the same. So you can go here for primary, then you can view sample ballot, they make it even more complicated. Let's see the Republican ballot. There are no Republican ballot, that makes sense. Conservative ballot, of course, there's no conservatives left in Brooklyn, thanks to uh, the situation. And working family, nothing. Be careful if you're a working family's um, member, because if you're registered as working families, then you don't get to vote in the Democratic primary. Even though you got a, you all think you're all part of the same party, you're not. Legally, the poll worker cannot let you vote if you're registered in working family. And I think even the working families party says register as a, in the Democratic party. So Brooklyn is all Democratic because that's the only primary that matters. Not that everyone is uh, in the Democratic party so you view the sample ballot, you download it, you view it, and look at this horrific choice you have here. Two people who you never even heard of, civil court, maybe some people don't even know what civil court is, and some of these people are coming from being traffic violations bureau or um, DMV, Department of Motor Vehicles, administrative law judge, referees, these I, in my opinion, this whole system needs new eyes. We don't want lawyers in there. We want real people, right? But it's filled with lawyers because that's the only one that could put up with this crazy, crazy system. But Turquoise, Haskin, and Linda Wilson. You don't even know. Most people don't know who they are. So let's take a look. Let's um, see who they are. Right, because the only way you can do that is to actually search around. And if you search around for Linda Wilson, you'll see a website. You just 
type in the name Linda Wilson. I think we should be able to do that. Linda Wilson. Linda. Linda Wilson. Wait a second. Oh yeah, Linda Wilson. Okay, so Wilson. See what the search shows. Yeah, Linda Wilson for Brooklyn. So somehow it knows that we are in Brooklyn, even though it's incognito. And there she is. Oh, and actually she lists on her website included referee. Referee, you know what that means? That means like the, uh, similar to the DMV, maybe she was a DMV referee. The people when you go into the, Traffic Violations Bureau, they're just referees. They're not judges. They're not elected to anything. They're employees of the Department of Motor Vehicle. They're state employees. And uh, they call themselves judges, but administrative law judges. You can't come up with enough titles in New York City and New York State. And they don't even follow the New York City laws. They seem to only follow the state laws. Um, that's a whole nother topic that we'll talk about. These roles included referee, appellate court attorneys, or... Yeah, these are the exact type of people you don't want in in uh, courtrooms. We want real people, not people that have been in government and uh, uh, bureaucrats forever and ever, right? So this is, unfortunately, we don't have much choice. Then the other person is even harder to spell. It's called Turquoise Haskin. And uh, so if we search on her name... So if we take this and we search on her name, copy, and we go up here and we can possibly do this. And there was a way to do this. You do another one and then you just search on her name. So she shows up with, in the Brooklyn paper a while ago and I have to ask the question, does Eric Adams endorse her? Because of all the people, Eric Adams does talk about taxpayers. So let's just see. Let's ask the question. Let's just ask the question, does Eric... Adams endorse and we'll just see because that's a good question to ask what the heck just happened there fried huh that's strange that's not what I type does Eric Adams endorse. I would use the. And why did it not paste? Yeah. Judicial contend for nomination. Brooklyn Dems endorse four judicial candidates. Super PAC. Eric Adams is using endorsements to influence policy. So, oh, so let's see if we put this in double quotes. These are all tricks you can use to make sure that your search actually works. And it looks, why super PACs? We are proud to endorse, so the Stars and Stripes Democratic Club endorses for civil court. Perry Richards endorsed Stringer. Wow, that's old. So, wow, they got Stars and Stripes, the 49th. So it'd be good to understand summarizing so it's good to understand who these people are. 11228, follow. It 
Did I follow them? Stars and Stripes Democratic Club, 49th Assembly. So she must be out from that corner of the world. It's hard to understand. Am I following? I don't even know. Let's see. Block. It's hard to tell if you're following somebody or not. Anyway, this is a mess. Facebook is a mess as usual. So let's go back to what we wanted to do was this turquoise person. And the web is such a mess. Turquoise and run. And it does look like she's here. Does there, I'm truly honored to have the chance to represent the people. What date was this? March 23. So we have to say they love pictures with each other. Haskins have been endorsed by the Brooklyn Democratic Party. Is that true? So why did they endorse this one and not? And what about uh, Eric Adams? Why didn't they endorse it? So it's hard to tell. And then you'd have to see this is the life you lead. You have to figure out here, 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 here. Linda, Linda Wilson, endorsement, endorsement. See if she's endorsed by anyone. Okay, endorsements. According to herself, she's been endorsed by Antonio. These are just websites, so you got to be careful. Maritza de Villa. Robert Carroll, oh my goodness, Lincoln Restler Dice, the last person I, the guy's a nutcase with uh, biking and, and uh, making laws for no reason. Conrad Tillard, I, let's see, it doesn't have Eric Adams here. Central Brooklyn Democrats. Linda Wilson. This is hard to tell. She doesn't have Eric Adams here. District leader. Who's district leader? Boy, they do have their own uh, former assembly member. Is that misspelled? No. District leader. You got to be careful of these people. Oh my goodness, Robert. And let's see if the other one is here, turquoise, if she's in here. The Brooklyn Democrats, there's, you know, Okay, so then you can look for their questionnaire. She's not even here, is she? Oh, there she is. So, where's she located? No, this is my first time running for... Have you been endorsed before? No, my committee first fundraiser was held I'm ethically not permitted to know who contributed to my campaign. Wow. I have positive conversations with district leaders. To date the... Did 
This is, uh, I would nominate, who clerked for Stottemayor, oh my goodness, please see the attached resume. Please see my attached resume, I'd like to see that resume. See link below, page, my goodness. As a law clerk, I'm, see, see, this is the issue, is they, they're all embedded in the system. I'm a member of the Thomas Jefferson Democratic Club. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm a Canarsie, oh, so she's from Canarsie, probably. Wow. I don't know who to pick then, this is hard. I'm conducted trials, I, we don't even know what this is. Flip, flip snack. That's almost scary to click on. Can you click on that? No. This is a bad PDF file you can't even click on. Wow, that didn't work. Very strange. Oh my goodness, what is this? Queen's Magazine, what does this have to do with? My goodness, this is the good old days. Oh my goodness, who knew there were such magazines? They've certainly made the web into a meaningless drivel. Oh my goodness, like people want to read magazines online. Oh my goodness, can't even search this. See if you can even search. No, there's no searching. What a disaster. Anyway, it's not clear who to vote for, so peace out. Um, maybe write in the candidate like uh, your own name or run for office next time. Anybody should be able to be judged. This is not a... It doesn't take a genius to be a judge. Bye.